uh, uh, y is equals to negative 2x plus 8. So, ladies and gentlemen, so now what we need to do uh, is obviously to substitute what we know. We know uh, y is equals to 0 minus 2x plus 8. What we don't know is uh, that x value over there. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just I actually ran out of a battery and then what I did was quickly to, uh, you know, change the uh, 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 the recording device. So it doesn't really matter. I just want to quickly show you uh, how to get that final answer. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, obviously because we don't know the value of x, that means we need to now solve for x. Okay, so there's something, guys, that I want you to notice. Let's say, uh, let me say 0 is equals to negative m uh, plus 7. Just as an example, ladies and gentlemen, remember, guys, uh, you, you don't necessarily need to move the number to the other side. Okay, you can still move this letter to the other side why because you want to have your fun your final answer in the letter of a letter it's equals to number okay very very much important ladies and gentlemen that you understand what i'm trying to explain over there so a uh, that means you can just move that m obviously remember it changes the sign then it becomes positive m which is equals to seven okay so this is the format in which you want your final answer but otherwise if you want to move the number then it means it becomes minus seven which is equals to negative m okay so from there uh, you obviously need to divide by negative one negative one so that negative it cancels it cancels then you have seven which is equals to m then you're still going to rewrite them in that form uh, or in that format okay that's why i'm saying ladies and gentlemen uh, it's not at all times where it's a must that you only move the numbers or you transpose the numbers okay you can still move the letters to the other side by so saying ladies and gentlemen you won't be surprised when i write 2x which is equals to 8 okay obviously you just divide by 2 you divide by 2 so that it cancels and then you remain with x which is equals to 4 which means you've got your, your final answer in the form of letter it's equals to number okay very 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 much important ladies and gentlemen so that means our x value is equals to 4 okay what i like about a a, you know functions ladies and gentlemen is that as soon as you find your final your final answer listen to me very carefully guys the moment you find your final answer you can actually go back to the graph to check or verify if indeed your final answer makes sense i'm not sure if you understand ladies and gentlemen but what i'm saying is you can still go and verify if your final answer makes sense sense okay so guys obviously the x value is 4 and of course we expected a value which is greater than 1 why greater than 1 because the midpoint a uh, of or, or maybe a uh, when when this graph is separated by half that axis of symmetry or that point there it's 1 so you obviously expect a positive number which is greater than one okay so it indeed suits to be four uh, at that point of t okay very very much important ladies and gentlemen very very much important before i forget guys for you to equate that equation to zero we give you a mark remember this question was allocated two marks okay so we give you a mark for equating it to zero and then from there we also give you a mark for your final answer okay very very much important ladies and gentlemen please do make sure that you do not lose these free marks okay so guys uh, for today's lesson it's actually going to be a bit
tricky in a sense that I've got a, you know some challenges with my battery but I hope you fully understood exactly what I did over there okay so I'm going to remove all of this information and then from there what I will do uh, is to quickly move to the next question which is 6.2 okay so let's check what the question wants us to do ladies and gentlemen a question worth four marks they say determine the equation for f in the form f of x is equals to that show all your workings okay very very much important ladies and gentlemen show all your workings okay so guys a uh, let's determine that a uh, let's determine that a uh, graph might be a tricky question but let's see we know they want it in the form of f of x or let me just say y okay let me just say y is equals to f of x which is equals to we just know we've got a x squared plus b x plus c okay this question is allocated four marks which means it's not really that much complicated you just need to apply your mind apply the basics that you know okay ladies and gentlemen can we just a uh, you know perform a very quick calculation remember guys you know very well that if you can have a you know if you can have the intercepts of a parabola the two intercepts and just one point along that graph you can easily solve this question ladies and gentlemen so the reason why i'm saying this is because we can easily find that point you remember the mid uh, the midpoint a uh, formula ladies and gentlemen. you know a uh, x is equals to x one i'll just uh, uh, verify something over there ladies and gentlemen. plus x two which is equals to i mean over two i'm just trying to think um of something let's say xm which is x at the midpoint of t and p okay so guys what i'm trying to say is we know that that point over there is one this is the midpoint of the point of p and t i'm not sure if you understand it Cynthia. so this is equals to we already know the first x value over there we can say it's positive 4 plus the x at a p yeah and no, i think i should have said this is the x at t this is the x at p so that it makes sense okay so ladies and gentlemen uh, this is divided by 2 right so obviously a uh, if you multiply uh, if you multiply that you cross multiply you obviously have 2 which is equals to 4 plus x of p so that means x of p is equals to you move it to the other side it becomes 2 minus 4 of which is equals to minus 2 okay guys you can just note it down to say p is actually equals to negative x i mean negative 2 and a uh, zero so we obviously know over there the x value is negative two okay guys how did i calculate this it's because i know the axis of symmetry and i know one point of the x intercept so that means a uh, one is halfway between these two points very very much important ladies and gentlemen so um guys let's now try to check if we cannot use this formula because why uh, we already know ladies and gentlemen we already know that uh, let me see uh, i'm not really sure if we're given that formula ladies and gentlemen i'm not really sure if we are given that formula but i think i still remember the formula i'll just try to write it down i'm not sure if you remember this formula ladies and gentlemen where they say uh, let me see 
I think I saw something similar to that. No, no, no. It's not given. I'm not sure if you remember this formula, guys. Y is equals to A into, I think it's X, something like X minus X1. And then I think it's X again minus uh, X2. I hope this is how the formula looks like, ladies and gentlemen. So you use this formula if you know the X intercepts okay and again if you just know one point along that particular graph so in this case the the intention is to use these two x intercepts and then a um, and then a uh, use that one point over there okay so ladies and gentlemen it's up to you to decide if this is x1 and this is your x2 to make it easy again ladies and gentlemen let's say this is the x of p and then this is the x of t just so that it makes sense and it's easy okay let's substitute we've got our y which is equals to a into x minus what is our x at t it's equals to 4 then you just say 4 then you say into x what is our x at p? It's equals to negative 2. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the main aim here is to actually calculate the value of a. Okay, so let's now, uh, you know, proceed with our calculations. Remember, guys, you need uh, the x intercepts, okay, where you must have x1 and x2. And again, you need any point just one point along that graph and there you go we've got that point over there okay so we can then use that point ladies and gentlemen what is the y there it's 18 which is equals to a what is the x it's 1 minus 4 what is x we use the same x which is that obviously this times this it makes it positive 2 okay so Ladies and gentlemen, that means we have 18, which is equals to, what is this, guys? I think this is minus 3. And what is this? This is, it should be 3. Then it's a minus and a minus multiply. Then it should be negative 9, okay? So it's more like you've got A into negative 9. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. What does it mean? You, it means you can just divide by... the a negative 9 you also divide by negative 9 okay so it cancels it cancels you remain with a which is equals to this I think 18 divided by 9 it's it's 2 obviously remember that minus over there that means our a is negative 2 okay very very much important ladies. so now that our a is negative 2 guys our a it's negative 2 okay so that obviously means can I just let me just use this portion here to say why it's equals to negative a uh, two into x. What was our a uh, x at t? It was minus a uh, four, and then you close, and then that one over there is obviously x, and our x at p. Obviously, it's minus 2 then with that minus from the original formula. It makes it a positive Then it's more like we have positive 2. Okay, so now it's just to uh, You know simplify this or, or, or rewrite it such that we give the answer in the form that they requested So obviously it's minus 2 you multiply that by that it's equals to x squared multiplied by that by that it's positive 2x this by that it's minus 4x that by that it's equals to minus let me see it's minus uh, 8 I think isn't it minus 8 I think it's a uh, yeah because uh, what is it 4 multiplied by that it's equals to um, it's equals to uh, what is it it's equals to 8 and it's a minus sign why a minus sign a uh, obviously because uh let me see why because of that minus over there okay so ladies and gentlemen let's now proceed with uh, our question so 
I'm just trying to think of something that is so our a is negative two obviously uh let's see obviously these two guys it's a negative two isn't it so that means we have x squared minus 2x minus 8 okay so now it's just a matter of you multiply 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 so that means guys f of x is equals to that times that it's minus 2x squared that's uh, that times that it's positive because of the two minus there two plus two i mean two times two is equals to a uh, what is it four and then negative times negative it becomes positive two times eight it should be 16 yeah so it should be 16. so ladies and gentlemen that means this is the final answer to this question i hope everyone is able to see ladies and gentlemen. so that means this is how you score uh, your four marks okay so we, we can just uh, I think we can just give you a mark, ladies and gentlemen, for correct substitution over there. And again, for you to be able to calculate the value of A, we also give, uh, we also give you a, a mark. And I think you also deserve a mark for writing that correct formula, ladies and gentlemen. And again, also for your final answer, we can just give you a mark. Okay, very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. So guys... Uh, I've just noticed that again I'm still experiencing that same problem so guys if if you don't mind can you please just allow me to answer the last question because otherwise I think we're almost done if I can just do this last question then from there um, uh, from there we can we can I think we'll do part two but for now let me just try to include this question because I think it's very very much important they say if f of x it's equals to negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 16 calculate the coordinates of r wow ladies and gentlemen can you see they've just actually given us the answer for that question they say f of x a uh, f of x is equals to negative 2x squared plus 4 4x plus 16 i think excuse me i think this is the answer that we got on our a uh, uh, previous question i think this is the answer that we got you can just i think replay this video when you're done to just confirm if we got that answer because guys obviously it's a set shape we got a negative two and again we know there it should be a positive c there and it should be a number which is between these two points which is 16 okay so i think we got the correct so now they are saying if f of x is equals to that equation that we got calculate the coordinates of r this is the coordinates of r ladies and gentlemen this is the point of intersection of the two graphs okay very very much important ladies and what we know about r there's nothing that we know ladies and gentlemen because that point at r it's not positioned on any of the axes so we cannot say maybe x is zero or y is zero okay that one only applies where the graph touches one of the axes okay so obviously we know at point r we can just say at r a uh, that's where a uh, what is it g of x it's equals to f of x okay this is a very massive step ladies and gentlemen because you know you just equate the two equations and solve it's equals to minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 16 okay so ladies and gentlemen it's easy it's straightforward you just solve for x okay very very much important legacy so for solving for x i assume everyone knows so I'll just quickly show you how to solve for x so guys uh, obviously you want to have everything on the left side why because you've got a quadratic over there then it means you want to move everything to the other side and equate it to zero okay so let's move it to the other side so obviously you've got a positive 2x squared that one it changed a sign okay so you obviously had minus 2x over there let me just move this so that it's closer to that one then it's minus 4x 
you had eight which has always been there then you move this one changes the sign you equate everything to zero okay why did i move everything to the left and equate it to zero it's because of this thing ladies and because it tells me that i'm going to have the factors and get two values of x okay that's why i had to move everything to the left and equate it to zero and not move the letters to the left and the numbers to the right okay if i didn't have that squared ladies and gentlemen if i didn't have that squared i was going to move only this with the letters and this with the this which are the numbers i was going to move to the right add everything divide and divide so that i get the value of x but because now it's a squared that's why i move everything to the left side of the equal sign okay so that means i've got 2x squared this is minus 6x and then this is a uh, wait it's 8 minus 16 it should be what is it isn't it 8 I think it's 8 ladies and gentlemen I think it's 8 you can just correct me if I'm making a mistake but you can just punch in a calculator it should be 8 isn't it so can we not just divide by 2 divide by 2 divide by 2 so that we just have x squared minus 3x minus I think it should be 4 isn't it so it's 4 okay then you can easily now factorize okay so your x your x what number when multiplied by a you know that number gives you four is this one obviously in terms of the signs ladies and gentlemen should be careful here I think if you make it a minus there and a positive there it's going to easily give you uh, that number so that means x is equals to minus one or x is equals to four okay very very much important ladies. so obviously guys because uh, that point r it's on the negative side of the x axis it cannot be that number okay so it cannot be that number that means x is equals to negative one okay so uh, when you calculate the value of a uh, y you can substitute this x value on a uh, the equation of g or the equation of a uh, f for me let me just substitute it on the equation of a uh, g then you will substitute there and check if you find the same answer so it's negative 2 into negative 1 plus 8 so obviously this times that it's equals to 2 plus 8 then that means it should be equals to 10 isn't it because 8 plus 2 is equals to 10 so that means there you've got 10 ladies and gentlemen so that means the coordinates of r that's where x is equals to negative 1 and then r i mean uh, y is equals to 10 okay so guys i think uh, let's just end it there uh, let's just end it there and then from there um uh, let me see and then from there um okay let's just let's just quickly mark this question so uh, let me see guys let me see guys obviously it's allocated four marks the thing is i'm not really sure if this battery will last us uh, uh, but it's fine if 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 it happens to cut me in the middle of a lesson you just notice that it was actually a a you know the battery so let me just continue with the lesson and forget about the battery in case if it cuts me then just know that is the is the battery then from there based on how far we've covered the work then i will see if i need to do a uh, part two or not okay so ladies and gentlemen um let's let's have a look let's have a look obviously i think you deserve a mark over there why because uh, you know you knew that at that point r all of these are the same okay so we give you a mark for for that part right and then ladies and gentlemen for writing this equation in the standard form either that form or this form we will give you a mark okay doesn't matter whether you factorized it while it was in that form or this form we give you a mark very very much important ladies and gentlemen okay so again uh, 
we give you a mark for your x values which are correct okay and obviously your last mark ladies and gentlemen we give you a mark for your y value over there okay guys uh, i think i've covered most of the questions which are uh, very very much important so we're just left with two questions i see a uh, uh, let's see this one is allocated two marks and that one is allocated a uh, four marks and they say use your graphs to solve for x where f of x is greater or is equals to a g of x so it's two marks it should be easy also that one they just want you to solve for x by using the graphs to tell where uh, that graph which is negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 2 it's less than zero okay so ladies and gentlemen i think a uh, or maybe let me just give you i think we might quickly do this last one then from there the question that i haven't done it will be your homework okay hopefully they won't ask you this question in your exam so uh, even if you haven't got a chance to do this homework then it's fine um it's fine i think we'll just do it for for the learners who are who are still in grade 11. so this is question 6.4 obviously so uh, will be question 6.4.1 so guys the question says a uh, use your graphs to solve for x where f of x is greater or equals to a you know it's 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 what it's greater or equals to g of x okay very very much importantly so a uh, you can just try to a uh, check ladies and gentlemen you can just try to check on that graph where a uh, um where that graph of that graph of a uh, g it's um you know no where that graph of f i'm trying to interpret where that graph of f is greater or equals to a g so this is your first step ladies and gentlemen because obviously they said solve for x isn't it so that means they want the x values okay so you'll have that x value and then or you'll have the other x value okay so ladies and gentlemen you can just try a a obviously to substitute to check where you get positive numbers and again where you get a um, negative numbers okay so um one thing for sure between these two points between there and there this is where you should get a uh, the graph of g uh, no no the graph of f greater than a uh, that straight line i think for this one ladies and gentlemen because you know there are things there are things that i'm thinking in my mind of which i know very well that i haven't taught you this stuff and you won't easily understand but a uh, a uh, at where x is greater or equals to a a negative one that's where you should have this graph greater or equals to g and again where a um, where a x is less or equals to four that's where you should have the graph of f greater a um, a greater or equals to a uh, that graph of g so ladies and gentlemen just to just so that it makes sense remember that point over there it's negative one so this is the negative one that we're talking about and again a uh, uh, this is this is the point that we're talking about over there so this is how it's going to make sense to you and i think i hope so so Ladies and gentlemen, let me shade this part. So it's more like we're giving the x coordinates where this graph of f is above the graph of a where it's above the graph of g. Okay, so that means from that point 
and that point that's where this graph of f it's greater than the graph of a uh, g i'm not sure if it makes sense guys that's why i'm saying i will need to do a special lesson where i explain to you okay otherwise if they said where that graph is less or it's equals to so someone can notice that maybe that portion over there that portion over there could be a possible answer okay so uh, i'll just have to make sure that i teach you this this lesson in full so that you understand what they mean when they say something is less or equal to. otherwise if they just said less than ladies and gentlemen then also they you just have less than okay so that sign of inequality depends on what was given on the question okay very very much important ladies and, and again if you don't want to explain it this way you can just say that's where x is between a negative one and between four so this thing ladies and gentlemen this thing uh, is the same as that okay so here you are saying between negative a uh, one and four that's what this notation means it means between negative that's where x is between negative one and four that's where x is between negative one and four that's where you have a uh, this graph of f greater than the graph of a uh, g okay uh, did i say greater or less how did i get that sign ladies and i think oh this is i actually changed it i changed it from the question they said where f of x is greater or equals to a uh, g of x okay so guys i hope you understood and then now obviously because this question is it's allocated uh, two marks okay otherwise they just say a uh, boom boom then you get a mark so your homework ladies and gentlemen your homework your homework use a uh, your graphs to solve for x where that graph is less than zero okay so use those graph to to give us the values of x where a uh, you know this it's less than zero okay so guys thanks very much for joining it wasn't really a hundred percent lesson i'm i'm very much disappointed by my battery but otherwise uh, guys i hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as i did